If you've been painting for any amount of time at all, you've probably started to accumulate some brushes that you're like, I don't know if I should throw these out. They're starting to look really rough. The more we use our brushes, the more paint will build up on them if they're not completely washed out. You'll begin to get brushes that look a little like this where it's just there's buildup here. And the more that buildup grows, the less you're gonna be able to bend this brush. When I first got this brush, I could bend it all the way over at a 90 degree angle. And now you can see I can only bend about the top two thirds of it like that. So there's also the situation where your bristles start to get kind of crunchy. Sometimes you might not be able to bend these at all. Sometimes brushes start to lose their shape. So let's talk about first, what you're going to need. We're going to need some Linseed Studio Soap. You can find this online or at the DecoArt website. You're going to need a cheap makeup scrubber. This one's from the Dollar Tree. Just something with some little ridges on it like this. Some hot water and something else you might not expect. And this is kind of my little hidden secret is a lice comb. <laughs> yes, I said that right. A lice comb. Why? Because it has these tiny little teeth on it that can get down in the cracks and crevices between those bristles and work that paint out. Now, don't worry, if you've never had lice before, you can purchase these online. Okay, I've got some brushes that we're gonna wash. You can see that some of these are a little stiff. Some of them aren't very bad, but you can see that like the paint has started to dry and get gunked up in the bristles and it kind of prevents them from being able to be flexible. So it's kind of frustrating, especially on these filbert tip brushes. The filberts hold a lot of paint, but if you don't get them washed out really good, or if you aren't careful about loading the paint only halfway down the bristle, you will end up with brushes like this where they barely bend at all. So um, I just wanted to show you a few of these so you could kind of see what I'm working with. Some of them bend better than others, but some of them like that flat tip is barely bending at all. So I've got just a little bit of water in a mason jar and I'm going to just get a little palette knife. We'll just use this. I'm going to scoop a little bit of it into our warm water. Stir it around till it starts to melt. Okay, once your soap is all dissolved, you're going to put your brushes in there. Ideally, you do not want your water or your soap mixture to come above the metal ferrule part of your brush. So I made sure to keep this nice and low and so far so good. None of it is touching the wooden handle part of the brush. Is it all below the metal? All right, I'm gonna let this soak. It says overnight if necessary. Some of these brushes aren't very bad, but some of them are really bad. So I'm gonna come back to this tomorrow and show you what I got. Okay, it has been roughly 24 hours since I soaked these brushes. I've got a little tub of warm, clean water here and a little makeup brush scrubber from the Dollar Tree and it has little suction cups on bottom. So I'm gonna put this against the bottom of my bin. If you wanna do this in your sink, you can as well, but for videoing purposes, I'm doing this in a little tub of water in my craft room. Taking each one out of our solution here and I'm just gonna scrub it along that little brush scrubber at the bottom and see what we get. So this was one of the ones that wasn't in terrible shape, but the top of it had kind of gotten to where the paint was gunked up up here. And I can tell that it feels a lot looser. It's not perfect, but I think it is going to be a lot better than it was. This one was um, in pretty rough shape to start with. Something else you might try is after you, you know, did the initial breakup in the water, if it's being especially stubborn and there's some areas up near the ferrule that are not coming loose, dip your brush in just a little bit of this and take your little scrubby out of the water and kind of work it in undiluted. So right now there's not hardly any water on this brush. It's mostly soap. And you can see that a lot of that paint is working its way out the more I scrub. Okay, another pro tip for you. And this is going to be one that's probably not going to be expected. This is a lice removal comb. And I just happened to have one of these because my daughter had head lice a while back. And I was like, you know what? This would be perfect for working the paint out from between the area close up to the ferrule. And it is. Oh my goodness. It takes a second to kind of work it in there, especially if the paint is gunked up. But once you kind of get it in there, you can kind of pull like that. And you can see the paint residue coming up and out. Because these little teeth are so close together, it's loosening up the gunked up paint that's really in the tight area right here and then rinse and it's like brand new. I'm gonna go back and try this on one of these older ones that still had some quite a bit in there. Okay, I just took this off the stove and came directly in here. So this is hot boiling water, even though it's not still boiling. If you have some stubborn brushes that have begun to lose a little bit of their shape, you can see the bristles in this one are bent. You can dip them in the hot water for just like one and a half seconds and then set them to the side to let them cool. This is another one. This is a um, liner brush that is looks like scarecrow hair. It's just kind of crazy. So dip it in, 
dip it in twice if you feel like it didn't quite make its shape and then set it to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and do these that I just cleaned just to make sure they all retain their shape. It's gonna kind of put them back to their factory the way they were intended to be. Um, once you dip them in for about a second, two seconds and a half, no more than like I would say five seconds, pull them back out and then let them dry on a paper towel. Another really important tip that I forgot to mention earlier is anytime you are washing brushes, when they're still wet, do not store them upright, do not store them down. That can ruin the handles of your brushes and they will begin to crack like this or do not leave them in your paint water overnight. If the water is deeper than the ferrule, it's gonna start ruining these wood brushes. They will splinter and crack and ruin. So anytime you've washed your brushes, lay them out on a paper towel to dry. When they're completely dry, then you can store them upright. All right, y'all, good luck. See you next time.